Hello people, in this video let us look at the types of fractures. So what is fracture? It is a break in the continuity of the bone, there is a break. So look at this. So in the bone continuity there is a break. So all these are fractures. So bone, something has happened to the bone. Fracture is for the uh, terminology used for the bone. Okay. Now what are the types of fractures? On the basis of um, uh, the etiology, the cause, okay, so you can uh, undergo a road traffic accident, that will be a traumatic fracture. A pathological fracture is something like, you didn't even do anything, a minor trauma, okay, some uh, minor trauma will cause a fracture for your bone, that is called a pathological fracture, this will happen in osteoporosis, etc., where your bones are very weak, right, uh, so they just get fractured just like that, okay, in elderly women, especially after menopause. And then look at this, um, there is something else called a stress fracture. Stress fracture is like repetitive injury, okay, so uh, you will be doing like this mouse click, right, you will always be clicking on the mouse, that is a repetitive injury, so that is what leads to stress fracture, okay, so um, repetitive clicking or tapping or something that is happening repetitively there will cause a break in bony trabeculae, the stress, okay. Um, this will not be visible on x-rays, they are saying, they, it may not be visible on x-ray. And the person will only have pain. So the, based on the etiology, what and all did you learn? You learned that there can be traumatic fracture, pathological fracture and stress fracture. Okay, three fractures based on etiology. Now there are so many other classifications. Look at them. Based on the displacement, you can have an undisplaced fracture or a displaced fracture. So what do you mean by undisplaced fracture? Look at this one. Such a huge image. Okay. See this one is undisplaced, kind of undisplaced, right? Uh, they are still in alignment. Or let us see, let's draw the fracture like this, see, this is undisplaced, okay. Now, what is displaced? Look at this one, these are displaced. You can see how this one has gone this side, right, they are shown, this one has moved away. Or this one is like, one has gone like this, one has gone like this, these are all displaced, okay. One has turned, this one is stationary, let's say, the other one just got turned. So, all these are displacements. So, there can be a shift, there can be an angulation, there can be a rotation, all these are the displacements, okay. So, this is another basis. So, did you understand? Based on etiology, what and all you saw? Based on etiology, you saw that there can be traumatic, pathological and stress. Then, based on displacement, you have not displaced, then you have displaced. Under displaced, they showed you three. There is a shift, there is an angulation and there is a rotation. Now let us go to the other types of classification. What do you think will be the other classification? There are simple fracture, compound fracture, there are type of uh, the shape in which the fracture has happened on that. We look at that. Then you have something like uh, closed fracture and open fracture. Okay. So closed fracture and open fracture. I think open fracture, uh, what is open fracture? Open fracture only is compound, right? Open fracture is compound fracture. Okay. So please remember if they ask you compound fracture in uh, exam, you should write open fracture only. Means a closed means the skin is um, closed, okay. But open means the skin is open and uh, the content you can see inside. You can see inside. You can see everything, the soft tissues, etc. inside, okay. The skin, there is a break in the skin. You can see inside. That is open fracture. What is the problem with open fracture? It can get contaminated, okay. So, based on the relationship to the external environment, whether it is open or closed, okay. Then, when it comes to, um, when it comes to, uh, this open fracture, again, they have internally open and externally open. Internally open means from inside it has popped and it has come out. Externally open means from outside you have done something and it has opened. It's strange, right? See now, like I punch you and uh, the bone will come out of the opposite end, let us say, because I punched you. That becomes an open fracture, right? So the pierce, the fr fracture end pierces the skin from within. So that is an internally open fracture, okay? Based on the complexity of treatment, guys, uh, let us see, there is a uh, simple fracture and complex. Whenever they are saying simple complex, what are they referring to? It is complex to treat or simple to treat. That's what they are talking, okay. Now, um, if it is in two pieces, you can treat it easily. So, that is called a simple fracture. Complex fracture is multiple pieces. It's very difficult to treat, okay. So, this is also a commutative fracture, okay. Commutative, multiple pieces, okay. So many terminologies, right. There is one more guys, uh, the force causing the fracture. So it can be high velocity, low velocity, low velocity, okay. Only two things are there, high velocity and low velocity. High velocity will be unstable, right, it will be slow to heal. Low velocity will have, um, you can, uh, it's not that bad looks like, okay. Okay. 
but if there is change from low velocity to high velocity then it will become complex fracture with multiple pieces I think what you were looking for has come now, guys, that classification. Uh, see, first of all, let's revise what we were looking for so now. Uh, so the etiology, that is, we saw traumatic fracture, pathological fracture, stress fracture. Then you saw simple fracture, complex fracture. Then you saw open fracture, closed fracture, open fracture. Then you saw something here, we saw, no, what was that? Low, high velocity, low velocity, we saw. One more, I think I'm missing here. What was that? Uh, displaced and undisplaced, right? Undisplaced and displaced. Under displaced, you again, you had um, shift and angular and uh, rotation. Now we are coming to the pattern, pattern, pattern. We are coming to pattern. Okay, look at this. Based on the pattern, you have transverse fracture and oblique fracture and spiral fra fracture. Look at this here. Transverse is just a straight line. You can see uh, it is like this, transverse right then you have uh, oblique oblique is again uh, a line okay oblique is a line but spiral is more like like this okay it is uh, not just a, a line or a plane it's not that kind of a oblique pattern where you can cleanly cut you take a knife and cut like this you can understand right but here in the spiral one you're not cutting with the knife like that you're going round and round and cutting like that you're cutting Okay, spiral one. Then comminuted multiple pre multiple pieces. This is nothing but complex uh, fracture, right? And now this is segmented. Okay, segmental means what? Segmental means uh, there are uh, two fractures in one bone. Oh, two fractures in one bone, but at different levels. Okay, this is also many fractures in uh, same bone only. Okay, but this is multiple pieces. But what they are telling here is. Two fractures in one bone at different levels. It's kind of segment segmented has become. Okay, we'll give them that chance. Okay, guys, let's meet in the next video. Okay, so you have learned uh, fractures uh, classification. Okay, there are so many other things like fractures which have special names, fractures which don't have special names. There's so many ways of classifying. Anyways, bye bye.